Hey, it's your host, Killer Keemstar. And, uh, no, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to start shit with Keemstar. I actually kind of like him. But I am playing the uh, Pokemon trading card game online, if you can't tell. And for any of those of you who know me, personally, or to just kept up with my channel, you know, I don't really play the online game too much. I just recently started keeping some of the codes, but I even still trade those to people. So, I have one deck, which I made out of the bare minimum amount of stuff. If you couldn't tell from the screen before, I've been doing pretty good with it. It's a flying deck. Actually, it's flying grass. So, I'm weak to electric, which is not a good sign. Especially because I think I just won against this person not too long ago. But let's, uh, let's see. That's a different person. Let's see. Even though it is electric, it depends on what type of deck it is, you know? I do want to go first with this deck, especially if I get my talent flame off early enough. Which doesn't look like I can do that. Let's see. I can get the talent flame off. Or not the talent flame, the, uh... What's it called? The Yon Mega out pretty fast, which is good. And I think going against a deck like this, I'm probably just going to want to run the uh, Muscle Band. Ooh, it's a Raichu deck. I think I made a Raichu deck. In the real training card game, not on here. I don't have enough stuff on here to even do that. Alright, let's see. I will draw my extra cards. Which is just more Shauna's, so I'm just going to end up getting rid of them. And that's it. So next turn, I'm probably going to Yan Mega and then play a Shauna. Ooh, it's good that you played that, considering that I'll be able to hit next turn. And he might be able to hit next turn too, which will suck. Because I think he'd hit me for two. 100 damage, which is a lot of damage. Actually, let's play the Ultra Ball too. Get rid of a Potion and a Shauna. I'm going to do this in order to get... Mm, should I go for a Yanma? I'm thinking about going for Jirachi, because then I can start building Jirachi up as my backup plan. In case Ampharos just starts to go ham. So now we'll play that. We will throw the guard onto it. And then we'll play a Shauna. Let's see. This is actually a pretty good hand. So then I'll do my 140 to it. Which actually, even if he knocks me out next turn, my other Yon Mega, you can't tell I have one right here, is just going to go up and roast him too. Which will make this game pretty quick. What he's gonna get out of Pokemon. But yeah, this is. I've gotten really into playing the online trading card game recently. And he did get the double colorless off, which sucks for me, but it's okay. Because my backup, Yan Mega, will do the trick. Evolve. Now, I think. I think the main, because I used to play the online training card game, but I lost the password to it, so I started anew. But the main reason I didn't like it before is that whenever you'd start winning, like, they would just quit. And that just honestly sucks. Because they could have pulled, that yeah, just like that. Which really sucks for me. I mean, I'm happy I beat an electric deck with a type, when they had the type advantage. But I mean, I'll do one more, one more video, or one more battle, not another video. I will do another video, but I'm doing another battle. <laughs> so that was pretty good. I can't wait to get those free packs. I just gotta knock out loads of Pokemon. Ooh, four tickets too. Shit, I might go join a tournament. Yeah, let's do that. Let's join a turn. No, I'll make a different video for a tournament. I'll just do another battle real quick. Ooh, a fire spiel deck. 
I wonder what this deck's going to uh, consist of. It's probably going to be interesting. Now you see, the main thing I need to get off that makes this deck just insane is that I can get the Talon Flame on turn one. In a perfect world, I would run, you know, two or three Talon Flames, but I only got one. And I will go first. And the reason I like going first is that I can get the uh, Yon Megas out faster. Which is, uh, if you guys can't tell, but the, the Steam Siege Yon Mega is actually, I don't have any Yon Mega breaks, sadly. But the Steam Siege Yon Mega is kind of crazy if you think about it. It can hit for zero energy if you have four cards. And there's plenty of cards you can use to get a total of four in your hand. You can either just use cards, you can, uh, what's it called? Oh, I'm drawing a blank for a second. Um, got Birch, Shauna, N even. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff. Which I actually kind of like this hand, so I'm going to end up keeping this. I'll wait for the stadium. I'll probably next turn get the energy off with my hammer and put the stadium and then Shauna. That's my plan. And depending on how that all goes, I might use the Jirachi to get a card I want. Or I might retreat it into my Yon Mega if I have one. We got a lot of cards. You really don't see a lot of uh, Steelix decks. I'm going to guess it's a Mega Steelix deck, which I like them. I think the Mega Steelix was honestly awesome. Now, that Heat Ran, I've seen that in a few Steel decks. I don't know why you'd run it. Let's see if it can load up for a second. Because even if you build it up, you're still just running energy, and it just takes a lot of energy, where all your energy should be going towards your Steelix here. Ooh, escape rope? Escape rope? I don't really think that affects me too terribly much. Now this Victini, this is a card I want. Alright, I might go for the... No, I'm just going to use the Shauna. Because he's got three cards. And considering, hoping that he doesn't have what he needs, I should be all good. I actually made a Mega Steelix deck uh, not too long ago, and I made because Mega Steelix is a steel fighting type, so I'd run the special steel energy, and um, what's it called? Special fighting energy, and it would just become like a beast. So now my plan of action is put the Yan Mega down or the Yanma, and then. Level ball to get another Yanma, and then this guy. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but I'm going to play him. Corliss. I tried. Let's, uh, this battle looks like it's going to be pretty fun, though. If we can get that Victini up with the, fighting, with the fire energy, he's probably going to get. And then uh, he, can, he can start you know, building up that Steelix. So guessing, yep. All of it's going to go towards Steelix, which is actually why I have Jirachi. I don't know if I explained this yet, but Jirachi is kind of my trump card. If you got something that my Yan, my Yan Megas can't deal with, then my, uh, my Jirachi will deal with it. It'll die in the process, but... Let's go ahead and grab another Yanma. Bingo. Now, if I had an energy, I'd probably put it on Jirachi, Lysander, up the uh, Steelix, but I don't have a second energy. Which, let's see what all this is. A lot of Yan Megas, or yeah, two Yan Megas, which is good. Shit, I have nothing else to waste. 
I think I will get rid of a Potion and a Yon Mega. But sadly, that's only going to get me to three cards. So that was probably a bad idea. I should grab another Yon Mega with it. So, what should I do here? It's so more than likely he's just going to put the energy on him and then one shot me. So, what I'll actually do is I'll just retreat into a different Yon Mega or Yanma. That's something I'm pretty bad at doing, monitoring how many cards in my hand and how to get down to the exact amount I need. If I would have paid more attention to that, I probably would have started going ham on this Big Teeny. Yep, he's doing exactly what I expected. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw my Yon Mega up for his zero retreat cost, because I like that. And just pray that I get an energy. And I did not. I got a Lysander. Great. Um, let's see. Something I could Lysander up. Yeah, Heat Ran. Three retreat cost. Or I might go for Victinia, but that one retreat cost might end up being the death of me. So now I will just end my turn. I just gotta wait till I can get that energy. And he's probably got a Mega Aggron waiting too. Let's see. Team Flare Grunt. No. Let's just hit him for 70. Just so that way I can start having that damage already put out ready. So I can just start, you know, going ham on his Pokemon. I'm definitely doing deal with that Steelix first. Once I get an energy. The game's just not seeming to want to give me that energy. The main thing I'm scared of is he's probably got a switch either already ready or in his deck. Because, I mean, you can't have a Steel deck without having escape plans. Otherwise, it's just not good. Let's see. There we go. But now I should I deal with the Aggron or the Steelix? How much damage can the Aggron do? A maximum of 60 or 80, which Jirachi would live through 60, which is good. So we will Lysander up the Steelix, which is going to more than likely one-shot my Jirachi during this turn, but whatever. And plus with that Aggron, I also have a Team Flare Grunt I can play, so that's all good. So this battle can go either way. Luckily, I have a little bit of extra health with this, my stadium, but I don't know. Is he getting the Mega? I wouldn't doubt it. No, a Shaman. I would have probably got the Mega Aggron. But, you know, it's, he's probably going to win either way. I don't know why you'd build up the... Heat ran, I would put it on the Gira or the Victini. Because then you can move that fire energy on it. So let's see. I'm pretty sure my Yon Mega, either one of them might be able to withstand a uh, hit from the Aggron, but I'm going to send in my more defensive heavy one, and I'll take my two prize cards, Evo Soda and Skyla. Skyla might help. The Skyla might do a lot for me, but I'm not going to play it because I'm going to get rid of that double colorless. 
because that buys me, you know, like an extra turn, which I can play the Evo Soda and get rid of it, because I can't evolve anything. Then I'll retreat into my damage heavy Yon Mega and start hitting. Because even if you get that double colorless back, like, it's going to be a pain to hit me with it, because he'll hit me for six. Actually, he'll hit me for knockout now. And he does have the double colorless, <laughs> which sucks. But it really wouldn't have mattered if I let him hit first or second, because, you know, at least I have the damage off now. Actually, will he hit me? I think he's going to hit me for 130, but I think I'll still be alive. Huh, let's see. Oh, I did live. Yeah! Let's see. In a perfect world, I can get a bunch of healing items, but I only have one healing item. Which I don't know if it's worth it. I think the Skyla for a crushing hammer is probably the best choice. Take the chance of getting rid of that energy. And if I get rid of it, that's great. If I don't get rid of it, it's alright, I guess. Yeah, it didn't work. But now, I can just hit him again. And now, no matter if he Lysander's one up, I'll still be able to hit him for knockout next turn, unless he retreats. Which would suck. Um, that sucks. <laughs> I don't... Ooh, he's got a Lugia, too. Luckily, with this deck, since I don't really put energy on my Pokemon, the Lugia doesn't really do too much. You have to build it all the way up. Alright. Let's see. No matter what, I'm going to get four cards in my hand next turn. Which... I'll do the Giovanni Scheme for more damage. That... This is going to help. Boop. So now, I don't think he can hit me for knockout. Um, he's doing even less damage now. Except for that 60 attack now. That's knockout. Yeah. I forgot I did so much damage to him. Alright, well. That's not too bad. A 1 and 1. I thought I held my own pretty good there, I just didn't get an extra basic Pokemon. But it's whatever, you know, I still won one. But yeah, that's going to do it for the first uh, Pokemon trading card online battle game thing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, hey, let me know, like the video, I might do another one. I might even do a tournament video, where, you know, I battle in a tournament, if you couldn't guess. And, um... Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sub. I like subscribers. So those always help. And, uh, you know, just have a fantastic day overall. And have a fantastic tomorrow, too. You know, just, just always have good days. Alright. See you guys.